This is a tippy top and when you give it a spin it gradually flips itself over like this. Any sort of tippy top is going to end up self-writing and the thing that makes it self-writing is also the same thing that makes it invert. The thing that makes it self-writing is its center of mass is closer to the bottom than its center of curvature and it always makes contact with the surface right below the center of curvature and with the center of mass being this way that tends to pull it to roll handle up. But if the tippy top is spinning rapidly like this it's this moment of inertia and angular momentum that much more determines orientation than gravity. What makes it a tippy top tip is when you give it a spin you spin it about a vertical axis but it's never completely vertical so it's always rotating a little bit with a wobble like that. And the tippy top always makes contact with the table right below its center of curvature but its center of mass is further from the handle than the center of curvature which means as it's spinning like this there's always a little bit of friction with the table which in turn is counteracting its rotation so it's pushing back against it like this and with a center of mass here that's like we're applying a little bit of rotation like this. So that's just given the tippy top a bit of rotation like this but in the meantime it's rotating like this because it's turning with a bit of a wobble so as it's coming around with that added rotation that drops the handle. Now as it gets around to here the friction works the other way around and now we're actually applying rotation that goes like this. So we only had this rotation coming like this very briefly while it came around and then while it goes around the back the rotation is the other way around and again that very slowly drops the handle because whatever little bit of rotation it got from the friction was only acting on it while it came around here and that goes very quick. Which is why the handle drops very very slowly. And this keeps going on as long as the center of mass is further from the handle than the center of contact until the handle actually touches the table. At this point the center of contact actually shifts to here which is much further from the center of mass and so we get a whole lot more friction as that handle is rubbing on the table and if it's not going fast enough this is where it kind of stalls out before it writes itself but if it's going fast enough that increased friction here causes even more of this momentum like this to be applied and then it writes itself very rapidly. Now of course if you were to spin this tippy top perfectly straight without any wobble then you would have it making contact right below its center of mass and it would never tip. But nothing is ever that perfect so there's always this tiny bit of wobble and whatever little wobble there is it just sort of grows exponentially until there is significant tip. So if you actually give this thing a very good spin and you're very precise about spinning it vertically it will seem to take a few seconds before it starts to tip because that very small error takes a long time to build. So if you want to make a tippy top Ideally you make the body just spherical and you have a handle sticking out one side and to move the center of mass this way you just hollow it out on this side and you can hollow out quite a lot because once the tippy top gets to here it never makes contact with this part of the sphere so you can just cut all that away and you can hollow out as deep as you want to. The more you hollow out the better it works. So that's my explanation of how a tippy top works. I hope I didn't leave you too confused, but there's also famous physicists that have been fascinated with how a tippy top works, so it is a confusing subject, but one thing you can't argue with is that it does invert.